In those years, the World Depression affected Rhodesia as well. And uh, my mother was a commercial teacher. And it is possible that maybe uh, my mother didn't have enough students uh, to carry on. But, uh, and it is possible that she actually applied uh, to the Wanky Colliery uh, for a position which I think they advertised. And so we packed the bags and went off to Wanky. And I think it was only when we got to Wanky uh, that uh, my father was uh, offered a position at the Wanky Colliery, Colliery Number no. 2. And uh, so they were both working and so uh, we had a lovely accommodation, very, very big home. And I think we had the uh, servants looking after us and feeding us through the day. I cannot remember going to school there at all. I can, uh, we, we used to have a neighbour that had a little girl and boy, and I think we all used to play together. And I think at the Christmas, I think the, the girl and the boy also came and were given presents. So, you know, we were all friends. And But in those years, that was in fact the case. I mean, we were all just one big family. There was, uh, it, it, well, it wasn't sort of sectioned off, you know, it was just quite normal for us to, to all play together. My mother had uh, kitties, you know, to keep the snakes away because the cats do. And uh, I can still hear her calling, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. And we had about 25 cats that, and the cats came out of the trees and everywhere uh, for their food. But it was essential that we actually had the cats um, because of the, the snakes, it was really full of snakes. But she also had three little kittens, so we all had our little kittens, and she taught us a poem. Uh, three little kittens, mother brought them up. They ran around the house with the tanks cocked up. <laughs> I'll never forget that, but uh, we all had our kitties. We used to sleep on the a very, very big veranda, which was gauzed. Um, because it was very hot, you couldn't really sleep inside. Temperatures were perhaps 35, 40. Um, very, very hot up there. And our beds were in a row, like a dormitory. And um, no, it, and it was, well, the gauze was so that the mosquitoes and that didn't come in. That's how we lived in Wanky. When we went to Wanky, it was the first swimming pool that we had access to. My mother was very anxious for us all to learn how to swim because I don't think she was able to learn. My mother lost her brother in mud and my grandmother would never allow my mother to swim. Uh, my mother hired uh, a tutor to uh, teach us how to swim. At that time, I was around about five, six years old. Those, in fact, were very happy years. The Christmas we had was really outstanding. Our neighbours also joined us, which you can also see in the photo. And uh, we weren't many white people at that time. We were, uh, uh, you know, there was just a few of us. The Christmas morning for us uh, in Wanky was, well, we as kids, we were all up early. We went into our presents and all the dolls and things. And my mother put out the, uh, the cold drinks and the cakes and the sweets for us. And uh, it was lovely. So all of us, uh, that's Edna, Eulalia and myself, uh, we were all given dolls and prams and cots and plenty of eats. And she decorated the table and put all the little cupies on there and that. I got a Shirley Temple doll. That was the first real doll I ever had from my mother. The other dolls were always a rag doll. So I was really happy with her. At night time, of course, would come and I mean, we'd all be off to bed and that with, uh, with our toys and that. But uh, for me, it certainly was perhaps the happiest Christmas of my childhood.